Hello everyone, it's Varkad here, and welcome to Season 3 of my Heart Survival Playthrough. I've got massive plans for this one. I'm looking forward to hitting them all out. So, how do you get a good start? How do you get a start that's suitable for everyone? Because something I've realized is when you play these type of games, open world survival, you generally don't start the same way each time. Everyone's different because it's a, obviously an open world survival. You go and do whatever you want to do. That's the beauty of it. Though, I've got an idea. I've come up with a start that's very... Oh, it's electrical tape in there. Oh, how fancy. I've figured out a start that's universal that covers all play styles. Well, just about all. Because when you first start a game like this, you have no idea what you're doing. And what I'd recommend for anyone who's not very familiar with the game, or quite new, to save you losing your lane, got a stick marker. It's very cheap, but I'm playing like an idiot, lose where I'm going, so I'm just gonna skip that part. Let's get sticks and stuff. Oh, the birdies, the birdies. There's another one. Oh, I like the blackbirds, they give more feathers. And open up the two suitcases you get when you start on Hard Survival. It's very generous, this game. Oh, all three. Oh, that's lovely. I can work with that. Okay, so this is the trick. So you just get, hmm, actually. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, perfect. If you're looking for advice on how to chuck a spear, I've got no idea. Get it? No idea. <laughs> Kill me, please. Okay, so the trick is I could keep getting distracted. See the sun? If you turn right, basically right, from where the sun is and keep heading down, you're eventually going to come across either one of three things. It's either going to be the yacht, the peninsula where the big tree is, or you're going to find the lakeside cannibal village. And I'm thinking that is the best place to go. And just loot everything along the way. Or you could keep an eye out for this place here. It's a big open field. And there's heaps of effigies down there. What'd I take my eye off the deer for? I lost the deer. <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> Daddy needs some loving. So you look for this big open area. Like this. It's not a good idea to build here. Uh, lots of candles can come passing around through here. Actually... I'll withdraw that statement. I don't know. 100%. I personally wouldn't recommend it. So you go over the hill and far away. And Teletubbies love to play. I can't really get the rabbit. I could make a slingshot. But I'm going to show you the process you should follow. Because you might not be fortunate enough to get a slingshot on your first day. So this is a cannibal village here. Now I'd recommend sneaking in. Because there's a good chance that cannibals are spawned out the front of the cave entrance that's just there. Or they've spawned in the middle of this village. From what I can tell, I can't see any, so I'm pretty good. Once you get inside it, pick up anything and everything you can. There's some cloth racks, some rope, and there's some uh, other things here. There's a pot. Grab the pot, always grab the pot. It's very hidden, this one. And there's some suitcases here. My volume's very loud on my headphones. I almost sent myself death opening up those. Um, suitcases. You can't climb that. I don't know. The hit and miss. Sometimes there's no items, and I've found five items at the top of these things before. So it looks like in this case, I've just got a circuit board. Now, while you're here, because you've got the your flash pot, fill it up. And go for a bit of a dunk. There's no fish here, so sometimes they come up to the, the shore. Yeah, keep an eye on the ground. There's always crap on the ground. There's a cache. 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 I'll say that word right one day. And then you follow up this path here. And this. Oh, follow, follow the path up. Oh, there's another rabbit. Let's follow it up here. And there's a good chance that cannibals can be out the front. Now, this area here, is we're going to get the modern axe. And there's lots of dynamite and stuff too. Now, the reason I'm sneaking is because there's cannibals down the end here. And they're asleep. There should be two. I can, oh, yeah. And you should be able to get a stealth attack on both of them. Ah, 
I didn't get him. I bumped him. I crouch because in case he falls over or does that little dodge attack thing that they do. It's really annoying. And there we go. And I'm just going to build a fire. I don't like using cloth weapons to light enemies on fire. I like to just burn them with a fire. Now the idea here is that you're going to get a houseboat and the modern axe and heaps of supplies on your first day. So that first day before sunset. And if I stuff around too much, I won't be able to do it. So this one's a bit of a rush, like you kind of have to be a little bit committed. But it sets you up. And while I'm waiting for those bodies to burn, I'm going to make some weapons. So I'm going to make a crafted, upgraded stick. I'm going to make an upgraded stick. Upgraded rock. I'm going to make a bow. And I might make a couple of molotovs. Just two. And I'm going to make some arrows since I've got some birdies back there. Some birdies. And I've only got one deer skin, so I can't do much with that. If I found that other deer, I'd be able to make a water skin. But that's okay. We'll, we'll sort that out later. Once that's all done, I destroy the fire to remove assets. Because this game really doesn't like loading too much. And we look for that ceiling skull lamp and just head down. Once you're at the bottom, it's all safe down here. There's no more enemies. It looks dark and scary down there, but there's nothing down here. It's just all fun and games. And we take out the circuit board. Let's get the red paint story item. And there's two electrical tapes down here. See? Two. And whatever soda you can't carry, drink. So we've got three. Because you need to keep your calories up. So that should keep us going for the rest of the day. Check stats. <sighs> okay. Yep, heaps of calories. Don't worry about your weight. Sort that out later. It doesn't actually go up. It only goes up once per day. So yes, just get whatever you can. And of course, the modern arrows, they're good. The modern axe. Bum bum bum. Alright, so I'm going to grab them all. And then I'm going to get the... Out of here. Yes, yeah, so this starts more a universal start. So you're not setting up a small camp because if you set up a small camp you don't know if you're going to build there and there's a good chance you're going to get attacked if you don't know where the patrol routes are you're going to probably have a bad time though if you build and within 10 minutes you get attacked if they show up kill them and if they come back within about 10 minutes again i would say there's a 95 to 99 to 100 percent chance that you are on a patrol route and you are not going to have a very safe build should have done this earlier Make a slingshot. So, all those three items, whatever they are. And now, if I see any cannibals or animals, I can deal with them properly. And I've got red paint too, so I'm good. See the cave entrance? Just keep heading straight. And you're walking into an area where there's a lot of lizards and rabbits, so keep an eye out. There's also actually a lot of herbs around here too. It's so bright out here. Hey, so far I haven't seen anything. Just gonna grab some herbs and stuff while I'm here. Some chicory. Chicory. And just keep heading straight. You're almost there. And then you're getting closer. There's a blueberry bush there. Every time I come here, there's blueberry bushes. Every time. And there's also aloe as well. I find aloe here all the time. There's so many blueberry bushes. I hope I can get some rabbits before I finish up here. I should be right. Now, this is the spot you're looking for. Right here. Yacht's over there. Red man's probably on it. Catch that. And what you're going to do, you're going to use a stick of dynamite to knock down some trees. Now I'm thinking, oh, there is aloe here. Always aloe here. Every single time. So this tree here I'm going to go with. Drop it right at the bottom and do a little runaway. And hopefully the trees all fall towards the ocean. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I didn't plan that. I don't know why they all fell that way. Oh, careful. That might explode on top of me. And you just pick up all the logs and drop them down the side of the cliff here. Turn to your left and drop them down. Like this. And I'll show you why. It's like, oh... They've all landed in the one spot. It's just great. And you build a houseboat here. So I've been here like a minute and look how many logs I got. And they're all in the one spot. 
How about that? If you need rope, you can go to the yacht. There's three ropes on it. Oh, did I wash the paint off me? I think I did. No, I didn't. Yeah. So, keep building this. It's halfway done. I've been here two minutes. <laughs> yes, I like this start. It's just universal because you can build wherever you want after you've built the boat. And depending how good your dynamite placement was, depends how many logs you get. And it doesn't matter if it wasn't very good, if you want to use another stick of dynamite, or you can use your modern axe. Modern axe is the best one for the trees. The trees. It's the best one for the trees. I can't believe how lucky I got for them to all drop down there like that. So, I need 14 more logs. I'll sign that. Should have done this earlier. And I'll sign that to number three. That's number two. And the javelin. Javelin. Number four. So, I should need about three more trees. As you can still see, it is still daytime with plenty of daylight left. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, where am I going to sleep? Well, there's a yacht. And because you might be sending a couple of days here, I recommend you do. Just raiding, getting whatever you can. Because you've got to raid the yacht. But this is all you really need to do. So I'm just going to take down two trees. That should be enough. If you need food, there's heaps of oysters around the front of the yacht, between the yacht and the bay. Don't venture out too far. There's a shark out there. And we're almost done. You could build a log sled, but as you've seen, it's, it's so quick. You don't really need it. You just get the logs to land where you want them. Only three more logs and I am done. Total swarms. There's three along this beach. Just one, two, three, up ahead. And that's it. Done. How quick is that? Day one. Look, I'll show you. And day zero, yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's not it's not a hard thing to do. It's how I'd recommend starting. The first thing I'd probably build on the boat is a water collectors. So I'd build two. I like putting them here. Because then you can jump up on top of the boat. But while we've still got daylight, I might go and see what I can find. There's so much aloe up here. It's great. It seems to be every time I play this, I come to the spot. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about the other logs. I think there's about three or four, maybe five. Saw that out later. I'll show you what to do. You probably want to get to the op before sundown because you're probably going to be going, oh, I don't know what to do. If you're new, anyway. Help me, fuck it. I don't know what to do. If you go in the water, you're going to lose your red paint, so you probably want to keep it. There goes the sun. I'm going to get a turtle before I... Take off, aim for the skull. Oh, run, don't run away from me. Okay, so I've got plenty of meat, so I, I might dry it. Because I don't want to get too lazy, because now the stew system, you can essentially use rotten meat all the time. That's a good spot for it. Meat, 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 meat. And I'll finish one of those. And we'll go over to the yacht. Don't worry about your hunger. You just got to worry about your calories, that's all that matters. Of course, worry about your hunger if it's in the zero, but hunger and calories aren't exactly linked. So just get off here. Don't want to jump in the water because I don't want to get wet. Now, three ropes. There's one there, two there, three there. And I could probably build some lights and stuff in my base with that. So you've got two electrical tape in here. Some story items, some cloth. I turn the music off. I hate that noise that makes it. Okay, so it's a spare soda. Drink that. Don't waste any soda. Drink whatever you can. Okay, so what I would do here is eat something and then see how many calories I got before I go to sleep. So you don't want to have any calories left over. So I've got 1,200 to burn. So I'm just going to get my bone out. That's why you need to keep a bone and just swing it until I've burnt 1200. The reason you don't want any calories before you go to bed is that gaining weight 
isn't fun because losing weight is an absolute pain in the ass. If you are underweight, gaining weight is good, but losing it, it's bad. Okay, so that burned nearly a thousand calories. I might just keep going until it burns the rest. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Strength's starting to go down, but we're not going to affect that. So we're going to sleep. You don't need to eat. Don't eat again. Good night, everybody. Once you wake, eat something straight away and drink. I'd eat another one. Now I eat a lot of cans of this because I'm doing calorie loading. So it gives me 3000 to work with and that's good. So the weight isn't actually 204 to be like 204.95 because it was just on that level. It's in the game code. So let's review how the start went. I gained one strength. It's not even day one yet. And I've got my weight at 204, 205. That's good. Athleticism's going up slowly. Got a lot of calories. And this is my inventory from just one day, which is good. I could actually make some more weapons, like craft the club, make that. And yeah, so that's what I think is a good start. That's day one. And you've still got your red paint. You've got heaps of weapons to play with. You've got a boat and you're set. In the next episode, I'm going to furnish this. I'm going to show you how to make this boat bigger. It's a little expensive, but if you want a bigger boat, you can do it. It makes it about the size of a large raft. So there you go. How to spend your first day in the forest. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.